All right, it's Chris for Fast Ones again, and this is a request to sign for Donnie. And the name of this video is Five YouTubers Who Are Trapped in Jail. Okay, let's check it out. Okay. YouTubers like pushing the boundaries to spice up their content and get more views and likes. Most creators have the common sense to know when to stop, and they draw the line when their videos can put their lives or others at risk. But some influences prove that common sense may not be that common. Today, yeah. we'll talk about five YouTubers who just didn't it know when spoiled to stop. It. Some of the things they did endangered other people, and in some cases, even caused fatality. Do you want to know about five YouTubers who went to jail? Keep watching. Double send the first YouTube channel on the list actually belongs to a duo. Alan and Alex Stokes are twins, and they became famous for their YouTube videos that include challenges, Q and A's. He take to the door. Their main audience is girls from 13 to 17 years old, so their content is usually appropriate for teens. But on October 15, 2019, their pranking took a dark turn. A dark Alex turn. Alan thought it would be a good idea to do a prank in public, where they would pretend that they robbed a bank. They dressed up all in black, wore black. Why would hats, you do that? Running around with big bags, dropping fake money as people watch them cautiously while they were pretending to escape the twins called an uber and demanded to be taken away from the scene the uber driver obviously refused to let them in because he didn't want to get into any trouble but it was too late for him some bystanders had already called the police and when they got there they approached the innocent uber driver with their guns drawn and thought he was involved in a crime can you imagine the stress this poor man must have experienced the worst yeah. part is that the twins pulled this prank twice that day the first time they did they were you went the you played him again you went to prizes for it again in another place they were officially charged in august 2020 in april 2021 they pleaded guilty and were sentenced to 160 hours of community service and one year of probation according to orange county's district attorney this prank could have gone wrong very easily and it could even have gotten someone hurt or worse this was not a prank this was criminal activity yeah. The twins were also ordered not to produce any more videos that mimic criminal behavior. So far, they haven't, but in the time between their arrest and their sentencing, they have continued to upload other types of videos every Sunday. Their YouTube channel now has over 7 million subscribers. Let's wow. hope that their fame doesn't make them forget the lesson that they learned. Unlike yeah. the twins, the intention of the next person on the list was never to make a spectacle to get views. In fact, what happened to him was an unfortunate accident. Just released. Daniel Silva is a 27 year old tattoo artist who has worked with people like Ethan Dolan, NFL cornerback Jalen Ramsey, and Trippy Red. You may know wow. him from Ink Master. Ink Master is a reality TV where different tattoo artists compete in different challenges to show their skill. The winner of each season gets $100,000 and the title of Ink Master. After he found fame from the reality show, Daniel started his own YouTube channel where he uploads time lapse of his work. On May 10th, 2020, Daniel was driving his 2020 McLaren with his good friend, YouTube star Corey LeBaron. They had been drinking and celebrating Corey's 25th birthday before they decided to go for a drive. Obviously, this didn't go well. At some point, Daniel lost control of his vehicle, ran off the road, hitting a tree and a street sign. According to Whoa. Daniel, Daniel tried to escape the scene after the crash, but bystanders stopped him. Both Daniel and Corey were taken to the hospital, but the tragic accident ended up taking Corey away. Daniel was Damn. arrested and sentenced to one year in prison, five years of probation, and 50 hours of community service. He was released from prison in October 2020, sooner than his original sentence stated on february 16th 2021 daniel uploaded a youtube video called i love you corey where he read a letter written by Corey's family and offered a heartfelt apology i want to start off by saying how sorry i am for all the pain that everybody's going through daniel apologized to corey his friends family and fans and also clarified sorry that no recollection of trying to run away from the scene of the accident mm -hmm. even though the tragic passing of corey was not the consequence of a reckless prank it could have been prevented if daniel hadn't driven while under the influence the next person on this list did the unthinkable and traded life for views I can't even pronounce that name. I am a YouTuber, and in 2017, she accidentally took the place of her 22-year-old boyfriend, Pedro Ruiz. Mona Lisa and Pedro had a daughter together, and at the time of this incident, Mona Lisa was pregnant with her second child. Mona Lisa was an aspiring YouTuber, and she usually vlogged her life with her family. On June 26, 2017, Mona Lisa actually managed to find fame, but the price she had to pay was higher than she was expecting. Before the tragic incident, Mona Lisa tweeted, me and Pedro are probably going to shoot one of the most dangerous videos ever. His idea, not mine. The video that the couple intended to film consisted of Mona Lisa firing a very powerful weapon at Pedro from a 30 centimeter distance. Pedro will use an well, dumb. media in front of his chest to shield him. I'm just not going to just sit it. it. No. I'm going 
to stand behind it. And Mona Lisa is going to do. Pedro had previously experimented with a weapon and thought the book would protect him from the bullet. He had been asking Mona Lisa to do this for a long time, and she refused many times until she finally gave in. But as you can imagine, things went terribly wrong. Yeah, I, actually went I'm not surprised. The book and into Pedro's chest. Meanwhile, 30 people, including their daughter, watched in horror. Mona Lisa called the emergency services herself and said she'd accidentally shot her boyfriend, but once the paramedics got there, there was nothing left to do. Pedro passed away at the scene. Mona yeah. Lisa pleaded guilty. That to sucks. And she was sentenced to six months in jail. Everyone that knew him knew that he never hesitated to try something new, always pushing things to their limits. The next person on the list is also a small YouTuber who thought he could get away with trouble, but he was so wrong. Wow. If there's one thing worse than threatening an entire hospital, it's doing it in the middle of a global pandemic. This all happened when Matthew Wayne, a 31 year old. This is when the pandemic was going around and shit. When this video was made. Claiming that he was having a heart attack. Apparently, Matthew was unhappy with the treatment he received at the hospital and he decided to make a YouTube video ranting about it. This isn't that strange since lots of people rant on YouTube. But the problem is that this video included a call he made to the emergency department where he said some really awful stuff. During the call, Matthew described how badly he had been treated and even said, After the way they spoke to me, I hope they all get the virus because they would deserve it. As if Damn. that wasn't enough, he That's then insane. Asked, it's not being funny. After what you had done to me yesterday, I will the place to be honest. Matthew then posted a 10 minute long video on YouTube and it got 81,000 views. After the video gained some traction, Matthew was arrested and taken to court for his threats. Matthew was jailed for 12 weeks and he was also ordered to pay a fine. Hopefully this Damn. will teach him not to joke around about these types of things. Luckily, Matthew's recklessness didn't cause anyone any physical harm, which is more than we could say about this next person on our list. Grand Theft Auto. In March 2014, Ryan Stone, That's a man not... from Denver, began a crazy 90-minute car chase that had the entire community on edge. It all started after Ryan, who already had a long criminal record, stole a car at a gas station. Ryan sped away, even though there was a four-year-old boy inside waiting for his mom. Can you imagine the terror the poor mom must have felt as she saw the car with her baby drive away? After driving for a while, Ryan used the car to block the way of another vehicle. When the terrified passengers got out of the car, he stole that one, abandoning the first car with an unharmed four-year-old inside. Ryan crashed his second car near the Denver airport and proceeded to carjack a third vehicle. At this point, a state trooper by the name of Bellum and Key tried to use stop stick to deflate the tires of the stolen car. Key was struck by the car Ryan was driving and his leg shattered in 20 places. Damn. In the chase, Ryan crashed the third vehicle and then attempts to escape by foot. That's when he was finally captured by the police. This, however, wasn't the end of it. If you're already thinking that Ryan has serious issues, you are going to be very surprised by what comes next. It turns out that this crazy and dangerous car chase was part of Ryan's plan to become rich. He wanted to call the attention of the media, so when the news reported the chase on YouTube, Ryan could copyright strike the videos and collect the money they made. There are even videos where he happily bragged about having made the news. My lawyer told me I made the news to the UK and Australia. If you type in Grand Theft Auto on YouTube, but once he was taken to court and discovered he was facing a lifelong sentence, his attitude changed and he begged the judge. But Ryan probably won't ever be able to start a family of his own. He was sentenced to 160 years behind bars. Wow. These five cases are examples of people who actually got arrested and sentenced, but just think of all those influencers out there who are reckless and selfish but never get caught. It's kind of scary, isn't it? So yeah. where do we draw the line between what kind of content can be fun and interesting and what is just dangerous? Personally, I think that if you're blog to put yourself or another living being in physical or mental danger, it's better not to do it at all. What are your thoughts on these YouTubers or aspiring celebrities? Let me know in the comments below. That was, that was messed up. But yeah. My next video is going to be... So this is gonna, next video is going to be a review on some of my paper props that I got that I... Make them talk and stuff, so stay tuned for that video. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Take care. See you all in that video. Peace out.